Because a picture is worth a thousand words, watch this. If you take a look at the documentation for std log, you will see values for debug, error, info, and warn. But there really are functions that you can use like this to log messages of different levels. These functions come from calling this copt type function with the default scope, which is just an enum literal. A scope is used to add some context to your log messages. So if you want to add some extra information to your log, so you can use this scoped function with your custom scope to add some information about like your logs. All right. So if we take a look at the implementation of these four functions, we'll see that they all use this log function. And this log function takes four arguments, one for the level, which can be error, warn, info, or debug. Then it takes as an argument a scope, which is just an enum literal, so it can be anything. And then you have a format string with the arguments to fill this format string. This is just like std debug print. This is the same idea. This function is interesting because it uses two other functions. One to see if the messages for this log level and scope should be printed. And another function to actually print the messages. And if we take a look at this std options.logfn, we see that it is actually a field that is set by default to the log.defaultLog function. And this function just writes to stdr with some colors and with some information about the scope if it's not the default scope. Okay, and if we take a look at this log enabled function, we see that it first starts to look inside std scope levels, which is an array of scope level, which is a struct containing a scope and a level. And if a matching scope is found in this array, then the levels will be compared. So each level has a value, so three for debug, two for info, one for warning, and zero for error. So if the level inside this array is bigger than the one we're trying to print, then the message will be logged. For example, if inside this array we have like info and we're trying to print error, then it will be printed. Okay, but this is if we find a matching scope. If we don't, then the level will be compared with stdoptions.logLevel, which is set to log.defaultLevel, which is defined as debug in debug mode and info in really safe, really fast, or really small. So for example, if we compile in debug mode, then we will see all the messages. But if we compile in release fast, then we will not see the debug logs. All right, so as we've just seen, this log enabled function and log function both uses fields stored inside this std options. And if we look at the definition of options, we see that it first starts by looking for the std underscore options declaration inside the root module. And if it doesn't find it, then it used the default value that we've just seen. So this means that we can actually override the default behaviors so we can override log level, log scope levels, and the default like log function by creating this std underscore options inside our root module. 
And if we do this, then the default behaviors will be changed with the one we actually want. And so that's, that's pretty much everything. Uh, if you're interested with the different code examples or with this diagram, I actually made a, a SVG of it so you can download it and then you will be able to like zoom and move and, and see all of that. So it's on GitHub. The link is in the description and I will see you later in a, another video. I hope the audio is a little bit better because I, I got a new mic. I, I got a new microphone and it, it's very nice. I mean, at, at least it looks nice, looks cool. Anyway, so I'm back with internet and I should probably come new videos, but then there's Christmas and, and stuff. And, okay, we'll see. Whatever, whatever, whatever.